And we're back live right here, city of Cape Town. I'm with a lady that, you know, I'm just chatting to her a little bit. What an inspirational, what an interesting story. So much of confidence. The name is Avery. I'm not sure whether I'm pronouncing it correctly, but we're going to double check. How are you doing, Avery? I'm well, thank you very much, Raji. So let's, let's, let's share your journey with all the lovely people out there. Tell us a little bit more about yourself. Ebire is a migrant woman who has done 20 winters in South Africa. That means I've been here for 20 years. Family is here. South Africa is home. And I love it here. I love that. So you, I like the way you say 20 winters. Yes. So do you like South Africa? Are you enjoying it? I know you say South Africa is home now. What do you love most about South Africa? I like the blend. The integration is like a melting pot where you find every nationality in Africa, around the world, you find them here. And it's quite peaceful here. I, I, I love your, your sort of presence, your aura. You, you give off this, this very positive okay. vibe. What are the secrets to your success? I know you came in as an international student, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. What are the secrets? I know you've probably learned so much. What advice can you give all the people watching this? Well, for me, there's no fast way to success. Um, it's been... The biblical principles of success that I've learned, and um, that's been my inspiration. So I, I, I like that, you know, and a lot of people say if it's too good to be true, it okay. usually isn't. <laughs> so it, it makes a lot of sense. What are you currently working on, and how can people get involved? Well, what I'm doing with in the food industry and within the space, the culinary industry, um, we're trying to make food more inclusive. That is, we're trying to bring in a fusion of Afrocentric as well as Western, so that people can have more of um, um, an inclusive um, appetite and palate. So it's not gonna be a case of um, what's, what's um, not good for you, it's not good for me, or what's your food is my poison, but what's your food is my food, and that's it. Wow. I, so, so you bring in the diversity out in food. Absolutely. I like that. So how can people meet you, get a taste of this and be part of this journey? Well, we have a dining, a space on 77 Fortrica Road in Belleville, in Boston. And you can log on to our site, our website, www.tastefulplate.co.za. You can call us, WhatsApp us for deliveries and all that on 083-99-30032. You're meeting the lady behind it. Let me tell you, the actual lady. Now, I want to know, I know you have a lot of uh, probably colleagues watching this from different countries, from different places. What message would you like to share with them? And what, what inspiration would you like to give all of them? Also? Well, like we know, food has to do with culture. It has to do with a people's identity. It has to do with our story, our history, and a lot. People socialize with food. And for the food lovers, the food critics, the foodies around the world, I want to say we're doing good. We're global citizens and let us keep it that way. I like that. Well, I've done a movie. It was in cinema. New Metro Stair Kinnikor last year called Never Give Up. I think my next should be a reality show on Netflix, uh, a food reality show. We're, 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 we're we can chat a little bit more about we're that. There. Any final words, Ibri? Well, thank you very much. It's nice to be on this platform. Um, it's an honor, it remains a privilege to be part of this Influential Women's Award for 2024. And I just want to say thank you. Well, this is the start and that's one of the reasons we believe Influential Women has so much of potential where people can network, collaborate and make a difference. From myself, Rajiv Modi, I've got one thing left to say. You guys have just been motivated.